We've got a good one coming up, folks. We're here in Las Vegas, Nevada for the World Series of Bowling Cheetah Finals. I'm Rob Stone. This is my partner, the Hall of Famer, Randy Peterson. All right, Randy, tell me, what was your approach to events like this when you were competing? All the competitors who made it this far are obviously bowling really well right now. You have to stick with what's been working for you. The competitors are ready to go, so we're going to bring the action to you right now. <laughs> Opens with the strike. Yeah, nice delivery on that one. Lefty Jacob Buttruff ready to go. In 2019, he was the top finals qualifier in three consecutive tournaments. Only Belmo, Earl Anthony, Johnny Petraglia, and Walter Ray Williams Jr. have ever done that before. Oh my goodness, that looked like a fantastic shot. Yeah, I mean, that was so good, really good. Everything about that was good, except the result. Starts things off with a spare. <laughs> Left the goal post. The dreaded 7-10 split. You know, only three bowlers have ever converted this on TV. And the last time was in 1991. Fails to convert to no one's surprise. You know, Rob, I used to pick up the 710 all the time, but it seemed like it always happened when no one was looking. Struck in the last frame, looking for the double here. Ringer on that seven. The pros will usually make this one. Got the spare. and the 10 will not go down. The 10 pin gets converted 95% of the time. Got it. Let's see what he does here. Nice shot. Looking to get on a streak now, hunting two in a row. And there's the double. And that shot there at the end. Trying to get a streak going here. There you see the max scores. Got a ringing 10 out of that. You see how often the 10-pin is converted 95% of the time. 
Oh, and that's a gutter ball. Not sure what happened there. Already has two strikes, looking for a third. Just a fractional miss down lane and boom, right through the face. So, leaves the frame open. Time to regroup and focus on your next frame. Nice! Really a nice touch on that shot. Take a look at the 10 pin party in the pit. Looking to keep it going here with two in a row. This ball comes in just a pinch high. No problem. Looking for two in a row. There's a nine count. Easy conversion there. That's some pretty good pin action right there. Left the seven pin there. And no problem there. Here's the max scores if both players strike out. That, my friends, was a nice looking strike. Got a strike on the last turn. Looking for three in a row now.
Knocks down nine pins there. And a nice conversion there. Well, that was perfect. Dead solid perfect. Ryan for the double now. He'll try to win it here in the 10th frame. Got it! Just what you want to get it going on TV. The lights are on and the pressure is cranked up. Looking for another strike now to get that turkey. Just needs eight here for the win. and takes home the victory. Working off a triple, trying to make it a ham bone. High that time. All right, that'll do it, folks. We hope you enjoyed all the bowling tonight. Take care. got a good one coming up folks we're here in las vegas nevada for the world series of bowling cheetah finals i'm rob stone and i'll be covering all the action here along with the hall of famer randy peterson the air feels electric tonight and i feel like we got a great one coming up what do you think randy in the finals you know you're good and you know your opponent is good who can deal with the pressure that's going to decide the winner game two of the finals coming at you right now A strike to start things off. Now we get a look at Kyle Troop in an outfit you're not going to forget anytime soon. Opens with the strike. Yeah, nice delivery on that one. Looking to get on a streak now, hunting two in a row. Got it! Looking for two in a row. Double. Looking to keep it going with the triple. The strike train rolls on. Already with the double, looking for a triple.
Someone is heating up. Left the goalpost. The dreaded 7-10 split. You know, only three bowlers have ever converted this on TV. And the last time was in 1991. So, leaves it open. Yep, not much to say. Knocks down nine pins there. No problem. Going for the hand bone now, Randy. Looking really good here. Nice streak going. Hand bone! That's what it looks like when you start getting into the zone. Hambone has been delivered. Looking for a five-bagger now. Here's the max scores if both players strike out. Takes out nine pin. It doesn't get any easier than the four pin for the professionals on the tour. Gets the spare here. The seven pin hold will not go down. Got it. Eight pins go down, leaving the four and seven. And a nice conversion there. That shot punched the words right out of me. Got a strike on the last turn. Knocks him down for two in a row. Great release. Now that's how you execute. Yes, sir! <laughs> Try
trying to get a streak going here. You can see how the strikes have come on the left versus right lane. Picks up nine pins. And no problem there. Looking for three in a row now. Left the two seven ten on that one. The strategy here is to slide the two pin cross lane into the 10 and the bowling ball will take out the seven. And does not get it. Yeah, tough to pick up the two seven ten. Just got to move on. There you see the max scores. How about that? He's ready now. Ten down. Ryan for the double now. Two in a row now. Looking for another strike now to get that turkey. You get three strikes and you're not out. Looking for the ham bone now. I mean, it's starting to get hot in here. Ham bone it is. Struck in the last frame, looking for the double here. Must strike here for the win. through and takes home the victory. We'll try and make it three in a row here. There's the turkey. Good looking shot right there. Working off three strikes in a row. There's a nine count. That's the end of our broadcast, bowling fans, and what a night it was. We'll see you next time.